What's up guys, it's Emmanuel Manny and this is Effulgent Design. We got these glasses by Symposium Crafts. They're handcrafted whiskey glasses. They have this really nice, kind of like encrusted bullet into them. Super unique. You don't see it very often or if ever. So if you like to drink whiskey or someone in your family likes to drink whiskey or just collect really neat cups, this is definitely something you're gonna wanna get them. Inside the box it says, but too much good whiskey, but too much good whiskey is barely enough. I'll leave the link down below. Only $34.99 guys on Amazon. Help a brother out. Well, let's get on with the video. All right, so today I'm gonna be working on a very, very special room. It is actually my best friend's bedroom. And he was out for a week previous to his birthday. And I wasn't sure as to what I wanted to purchase for him, but I knew that I didn't want it to be something material where it was just gonna be a very like faint reaction. Oh, thank you so much. And that was it. I don't know. I just didn't like the idea of actually just buying something and just giving it to him. I, I wanted something to evoke emotion. And I didn't think that just buying either like a shirt that he would like or a TV or whatever I might have bought would have been enough to kind of satisfy the the reaction that I wanted from him. So I set out on completely redoing his room. About a month ago, more or less, I helped him repaint his room. It used to be a really, really dark navy. Insert video clip here and he wanted to paint it white. So we bought this color called, or bakery box white, something like that, and painted his walls. He never got around to finishing it. And I went to his house one day and I thought, you know what? He told me he wanted a minimal minimalist room. I know he likes everything that's very boho chic and simple. And that's kind of what's in right now. And I thought, this is gonna be perfect. If I didn't take care of it and kind of put everything together and make it nice, he wasn't gonna do it. So I took it upon myself, I spoke to his mom, I spoke to his sisters, and I was like, hey, I wanna redo the room while he's out, will you guys help me? They were totally on board. We got things at Cheapo Depot, Ross, and TJ Maxx. That, that was mainly my three stores where I bought the things at, it needed to be quick. I went and I bought some plants because I thought it would kind of just bring everything together and tie it in, and I got to work. I went to his house, he has a big backyard, we started spray painting things started thinking of what I could do with the pieces that I purchased. I purchased some vases or some vases. Um, we had those painted in white, spray painted white, put some fake eucalyptus in it from Walmart. Those were only a dollar. So the vases were a dollar and then the trees, the little trees were a dollar. Super affordable. We just can go to Dollar Tree, get the nicest like looking books. They're only a dollar. And just make sure that, they, that they're cohesive. They all kind of match the theme that you're going for. For this room, I believe we got a black one, a tan one and a white one and we put it on the nice and it looks super, super, super nice. We finished painting the room. The closet doors needed to be brought down and repainted, changed the handles. I put leather handles on those. And once the room was completely repainted, I shifted the, the bed towards in front of the, of the window. I always like a bed to be centered. I think it gives it more presence when you're in a bedroom. Um, he had it towards the side, which I'm not particularly a fan of. I know some people like to do that to have more space in their room. He doesn't have a desk or anything in that room, so he didn't really need it. Next, I placed the, the mirror next to his bed. He has this floor lamp mirror. Um, we placed that there, put some plants in front of it, some cute little vase, whatnot. On the other side, we put some cl his clothing rack, which he has for aesthetic purposes. I hung the pieces that I thought were nicest from his closet on that piece. Um, put a little stand that I purchased, a little tree on top, and yeah, this room makeover was pretty simple but very effective. Um, everyone was in love with it, and here is the reveal. This looks like a 
whole person's room. Really? <laughs> Manny did the whole That's thing cute. here. That's cute. Oh, with everyone's <gasps> help. Oh, my closet. Manny with everyone's help. Yay, I have a room. That's cute, oh, right? Man. Your dad has to fix this part. Why? So don't touch it. I just touched it. Because it'll come, the whole thing will come off. <laughs> See that part up there? Yeah. Manny did everything. No, Nina did the wall. You had mentioned you wanted something like that, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I still got my experience. It looks cute. You look like you're a real person. <laughs> and you're not like seven years old. What the hell? Is it cute? Yes. Good. Wait, you know what's crazy? I mean, well, look at your plan. I got you sheets, everything. You, you need can, to. You can take sexy pictures of your. You need to take. Uh, you, can, obviously, like, you have to water them. Yeah, you need to water them. They're real. You did so They're well. real. The that you already had, now I can, like, Brought it to life. <laughs> it's not in, like, a clutter of junk, you know? It's amazing. <laughs> I, I love it. Care. But where? Everyone loved it. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. We love how it turned out and by my best friend's words, you don't know how ugly your room is until you have an amazing room. I'll leave you guys with that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Till next time, this is Emmanuel Manny with Effulgent Design.